I'm going to talk about some of the learning curves uh, when you're using a um, paint crew, Wagner um, paint sprayer. You know, these are Home Depot, Lowe's, or there's different models, but they all kind of work the same. Um, it's really good if you're going to do a lot of painting. If you're doing just one room, it's kind of not worth it. On, um, but what I do like is the really smooth finish you get on trim and uh, walls, especially the trim though. Sometimes you don't want to see a lot of brush marks. And this is really good for getting a nice clean coat. Um, and let me, one big problem with these, I've been to auctions where they sell um, returns, store returns and overstocks and stuff. And I remember seeing a lot of these returned and it's probably because of the learning curve. Um, uh, one thing I learned is you have to water down the paint. When I dump paint in, it gets uh, it's too thick. It won't feed through. It won't come out the sprayer. So I'll fill up before I put any paint in. I'll fill up the uh, water to maybe about here. You know, just just an inch in this part. It doesn't. This is higher. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but just a little bit here, and then you run it through um, on uh, prime. So as long as this knob is up. It'll feed through this hose, just keep circulating back and back through it. If it's not circulating or, or going through the sprayer, there's this little part down there that it's, it's not designed. Well, this is the one flaw, um, is this little weak piece down in that hole. Um, especially, it might work great the first time, but if you didn't clean it out perfectly, that little piece in there will stop moving and if that um, gets locked from leftover paint uh, it won't work at all and you'll just sit there and you know want to throw the whole thing in the garbage but if you just even cram your finger down and and try to uh, wiggle it until it's moving it's got a spring on it so it should you know wobble around a little bit in there be free to move um, so as long as uh, but you got to be careful with it because it's it's not built very strong. It should be made out of metal or something. It's plastic, and you can break it. So, anyway, and this little, um, you see, it's uh, a little hex thing there. There is a little tool. I think it was here or there that you can use to unscrew this if you need to clear out the whole thing. Um, again, it's great for a lot of. Uh, a lot of things, but if it's not a big project you're painting, it's kind of not worth it because clean up such a pain. You're going to hate it. Um, when you clean it, you'll dump. This goes just snaps back in. You'll dump a lot of water in and just cycle it through, cycle it through the, the sprayer, and then just flush it out. Before I even do that, I just wipe the whole thing down with a rag and get all the extra paint out and uh, out of here throw the rag away and then I dump water in, scrub it down, flush it three times until the water's coming through here clear. Um, you can even dump soap in it, that really helps to get it out too, or uh, rubbing alcohol, that helps clear it. Um, so to hook it up, screw the one end on the hose on there and the other end into the end of your sprayer and uh, once it's once you've cycled paint through, um, you put it, change this to spray. Now, the last time I used this, it wasn't working. I had to flick it a hundred times to, well, not really, maybe twenty times, and then all of a sudden something unclogged and this thing started working. Um, so the nozzle, you got to keep it clean, or it won't work. If you're spraying. Um, It'll spray out like a fan, like a, a flat blade. If there's a gap in it, it's because there's something clogged in the end of your tip. And this whole thing, let's see if I can do it one-handed. I can't. Yeah. Okay, this thing just pulls out, and it's got. Uh, I can focus. Okay, um, there's the hole where the pin comes in, that's the end where it comes out. If that's clogged, use a pin or something to, a little bit of metal to clear that out. 
And uh, sometimes you got to use a toothpick in here to scrape out some of the paint that gets stuck. And uh, clean this, you know, it's nice for this to be clean, but it's not as important as the, for this to be spotless. This little grate here helps um, stop debris from getting in and clogging the hose. So you always have to have this in. Don't forget about that. Um, because if the hose is clogged with junk, it's really going to make painting difficult. So I just finished uh, spraying this room. Now, if you, just a tip, if you're ever doing red, you, this took probably six coats. I did six coats with a roller, and you can still see through it after, you know, five or six coats. You can see faint areas where the red didn't totally um, take. So then I just did one last spray with the spray gun because I like the finish that that gives and it uh, filled up the rest. So anyway, I don't know. These are kind of worth it if you're, again, if you're doing a big paint job. If you're not, just just do a, a roller. It's a lot easier because the cleanup stinks and you're going to get paint everywhere. So like here you can see... Um, that's where my foot was, splattered everywhere. And, uh, you know, before you start painting on your walls, one other thing is uh, have a big piece of plywood or something. And you can um, practice spraying on that. Just long strokes up and down. Never start or stop in the middle of the wall because you're going to get a blob of paint. And don't try to fix the blob of paint by paint, putting more paint on it. Just leave it. Um, maybe wipe it if it's really bad and then just let it dry and start over. Anyway, that's it. Have a good day.